Hello and welcome to this training session. My name is Ashraf Ayad and I'll be working with you today in one of the new features in uh, Modbox 2010 which is the uh, SDK or a uh, software developer kit. First thing you will notice that after you install the 2010 you will have a folder that's called SDK and underneath it there is the docs and some example files that you can use to to bring up or to mo to create your first plugin. Uh, we also have the uh, SDK docs that's available for you. You can uh, view them in here and you can pretty much go through it here and see what the examples doing and how you can go about and creating your first plugin. Uh, however with this you need to have some knowledge on working with API. So the first plugin that we uh, got introduced to by uh, John Trag is that the turntable movie that you can create your turntable. Uh, once you get that plugin it will be available on the area. Uh, you can install it under the uh, install folder wherever you have that install folder located and to be for example here in my C program files Autodesk Modbox and plugin. Once you launch it it will be available for you here and if you have more plugins they will all start stacking underneath each other. So for example the first one we have here uh, which is the turntable I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do a quick demo on how to use it so first thing I will do is to uh, get rid of my my uh, grid and gradient as well. So turn off grid and turn off gradient. I just wanted the solid color. I'm going to go to the perspective and I want to reset. I'm just going to see that. I'm going to reset the rotation value so I have the camera dead on and just align it because what's going to happen is that the camera will look in here and the, sorry, the turntable will look at the camera and create it from there. So you'll create turntable you decide the size by default it's going to take the screen size but just because of the sake of this demo I want it to be smaller so I did 400 by 300 and then you specify the uh, how many frames so 120 that's almost four seconds and you need to specify where the folders that you're going to be going to or the output or images once you do that you can check the anti-alias give you obviously a better quality and just hit create frames I already created them so I'm not going to make you guys wait for it but the point is that once you do create them and you go to that folder you will see them that they will have here are already by name so if you overwrite them or you did them again without specifying a new folder you pretty much will be creating a new rotation or a turntable so if you want to see what I've done here I'm just gonna launch my trusty uh, F check and I'm just gonna open my animation and here it is so you can create obviously turntable animation with this simple plugin. Once you have that, if you have like QuickTime uh, Pro, you can load them as a sequence and then create your QuickTime movie or whatever compositing package that you wish to. You can also do one other thing is that you can go to your image browser and find an image that you like in your library or what have you. Uh, yeah, this one will be fine. And I will set this to be an image plane by pressing that button here, set to image plane. So now when I go to my 3D view, you can see that image plane is there However, you'll have a little problem viewing your object, so you can adjust that image plane, go to your perspective, and we just expand it under the image plane, and go under advanced, and for the depth, we're just going to increase the depth a little bit until we have it here. So now this camera has an image plane in here, that when we do turntable animation again, I'm just going to overwrite my old one, and I just hit create you will see now if you look at the bottom left how what's the percentage of saving the frames and creating the frames and you can see how long will it take and now it's done so it's save and turntable is complete I can go now and view them with my F check and here it is it came out with the image plane so you have two options either it came out with the solid black and this way you can com uh, take it in comp and uh, replace the black with whatever or you can just put your image plane here and just adjust it accordingly well I hope you guys enjoyed this session I'm looking forward to talk to you more